<coughs> okay, I'm going 5-2 in my first uh, sealed Kaldheim. So for 6 wins I get all my gems uh, back and, uh, and uh, I profit a lot of cards. Uh, uh, the 90 cards I opened and uh, 3 boosters from sealed event, so, so it's a really important game for me because um, this uh, sixth win is is worth uh, quite a lot, 400 gems, uh, and it it would be really cool to to reach uh, seven wins in, in my first sealed. So, so not only mm, not only these uh, gems are important here. So I don't have a real 2 drop, I don't want to cast this on turn 2, probably, but it's still a pretty uh, nice hand. Uh, I have my 3 uh, most important colors, I have uh, potential fixing for, for my uh, white splash, I have one uh, white card. So, uh, So I can live with not casting anything on turn 2. And I have my bomb, and this is also good. So what do I want to ditch here? For a forest or a rune, probably. I could go with forest and and uh, and just try to to find more lands with this. Maybe maybe it's a good idea. This also finds lands, but I would need a third land then. Anyway, Snow-covered island seems good when I have this bar in my hand. And I have double green for this god now as well.
seems like a good fit now so they have one snow land and this would just die so, so it's a great top deck for me I have to say So it's getting bigger. I hope they don't play a lot of this uh, snow lands, but still at that point I would just lose my bear and I exchange it for some creature that is annoying. So again the question is uh, I want to speculate on getting my uh, another white mana source, I, I stole a red mana source, so exchange maybe not stole. Uh, and do I want to wait for some potential artifact or enchantment? destroy I don't think so so maybe I play this but but we'll keep this gut on the board so they have double red again that was some other uh, benefit of yeah. 
Oops. They tapped the wrong lands here. This is both, not just some activated ability. So. Mm. You didn't hear anything. So, do, do I want to keep attacking? They have bigger creatures. They have this annoying boast ability. I have more life. I think I'm gonna wait now. Exchanges are good for them if they don't get rid of Sarul. Excuse me, so we have to So unfortunately I'm, I'm flooding out here, it's not looking great. And this prismatic bridge, then no point to wait longer. I think I just need to play a creature now. Maybe race a bit. It's not a great race for me, but I don't want to exchange uh, Sarul at this point, so.
I won't win with my lance only. Okay, so here we are uh, from 5-1 to 5-3, unfortunately. So it's uh, Ragdos beat down, and here Mardu beat down are killing me. So maybe this wasn't a great matchup for for my deck. And they drew. Nine lands and nine non lands, so it's it's also not not great. Or oh, even even uh, this uh, ten ten lands and eight non lands because I discarded a forest earlier. So so it was. Mm, it was a flat, unfortunately, and didn't uh, really. Uh, Difficult to survive against this uh, Bitton deck in, in that case. And they <laughs> foretold the uh, Doom Scar, but uh, this would be just a uh, um, backup option if if uh, my if I stabilized and, and gained advantage. But uh, but uh, they probably don't want to use it most of the time because they are the aggressors although their creatures are pretty expensive besides these disciples they then they just uh, got some value and cycled with uh, village rights so so these aggressive creatures are for mana and 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 more uh, so maybe maybe this it could be a plan to to cast Domskar early on turn three or four after four tell and and then start playing their uh, beat down creatures. Okay, uh, so this was nice enough, I suppose. I, I am. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, a bit uh, mm, a bit unsatisfied with this result. I thought maybe I could reach at least six wins with this deck, maybe seven. But uh, still, it, it's not that bad. Uh, it's it's maybe a small hunger for for more. So I will play another sealed uh, pretty soon. If you're interested, let's check what will I open my three boosters so this killed me in uh, uh, the game before in my seventh uh, round but it's uh, certainly not a constructed playable. I'm not sure how this will turn out. I think some constructed decks that want uh, uh, snow mana and aren't monocolored will play this if, if it uh, can be uh, white black. I'm not sure, but the cycles, uh, uh, or at least some parts of this cycle, have uh, potential of constructed play. Also, being having this uh, basic land types, uh, these plains and swamp, um, and such are are also valuable. So there are some cards that look for a, a forest or something, and not all of them say basic forest. So you can. Uh, search for for these cards, mm. or at least some of them with uh, with such F abilities or effects. Mm. 
So this shouldn't be a constructed playable. So no, no constructed playables here. And this, uh, this maybe you can you can can't rule it out because uh, copying uh, a lot of tokens, not only the, uh, these uh, created but by the first two chapters, but uh, it's to, for it to be a constructed playable, you need to copy more tokens, but that could be possible, so, so I wouldn't rule this out, but I, I think it's, it's not very likely that it will see a lot of play, or play in tier 1 decks. What else? So these are limited cards, so the same applies here, applies here. This uh, can be play constructed playable and the rare maybe, maybe if some some deck uh, running only snow lands uh, appears scry 5 and drawing 3 at instant speed might be good enough for, for constructed um, so I, I don't know the new standard maybe you saw some games and, and uh, know more, more than, than I do so I'm, I'm talking uh, mostly from my uh, point of view not not supported by by experience in, in the new uh, standard or the new historic so this I don't uh, think so and so there is some potential in playing turn two uh, three two flyer but uh, the support on turn one is pretty hard. So, so in historic you have this uh, stitcher supplier, but I don't, don't think this is a good fit for for, for a deck with stitcher supplier. And the payoff isn't that huge for historic to have a turn two th three two flyer that needs some work. Uh, so, so this. Uh, this maybe has the most potential among commons, but I still don't uh, think it will make it to aggressive red decks. Mm. So if the berserker type is very important, this can be some role player, or at least the budget options uh, option for some berserker decks. And this, I think, this has some potential. Maybe, maybe his, uh, drawing cards is very nice. Three mana, three three is a good base. And we have uh, a Bone Crusher Giant. This is one of, of staples in standard. So, so um, so you have some some potential to 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 get a lot of cards from from Crusher Giant Killian a 1-1 one, one, maybe 1-1 one, one Mana Dork or, or something or, or this Gilded Goose uh, Gilded Goose I'm not sure what what was the stats there zero one or zero two maybe zero two so, so maybe no, no option there uh, but the, there is this uh, Model, model double face uh, mana dork from Zendikar that is a 1 1 is, and is quite playable. So, killing some 1 1 with uh, Stomp, uh, the adventure half of the Bone Crusher Giant, and drawing a card and then playing Bone Crusher Giant that can deal excess damage to. Uh, um, to some chump blockers potential, I think this this can be good in some deck. But but the question is is uh, is it giants uh, or giants plus wizards plus spells? Is it viable? Uh, uh, is it viable? If if it is, I think this is this can be good. And this is certainly a constructed playable. I, I'm happy that I. 
get this uh, because I am I may uh, play some Ragdos combination in standard or, or uh, some more color deck with uh, these two colors and I have Croxa deck in historic but maybe I can think about mana base and add this this card although I have Strackland so not having Swamp or Mountain uh, uh, type is, is painful for, for this but, but still it can, it can be good enough okay thanks for watching be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you're interested here is an update on my rank so i think i should stay in the top 1200 i'm gonna pass uh, uh, with playing um, limited ranked uh, games until uh, the season ends uh, so for the next uh, 48 hours and 13 minutes right now i, I think uh, so I will play another sealed. I I'm, I was very happy with this deck. It was very interesting, yeah. quite good. So I didn't quite get the, the gap there, uh, get there. Um, but five three isn't a bad result, and I I will try to to reach more wins in the next sealed. So stay tuned. Uh, uh, I hope you watch uh, my future videos. So see you there.